This is our town. This is our corner. This is our theater. This is what it means to us. It means entertainment. It's uh, wonderful to have a, uh, this kind of a, a theater uh, in, in a small town like Winslow. It's a unique experience in that you're not going to a Harkins or an AMC. You're coming to something that has uh, a lot of heart and a lot of homegrown mentality. It was fun. Yeah, it, it's for the community. It, gives something, gives the young ones something to do rather than going out and doing something they're not supposed to do. Just the ambiance and, you know, the togetherness, the, the quality of time that you spend together. Winslow Theater has been a mainstay, kind of been the ground zero for families here in Winslow so they can come out and uh, enjoy a movie. Actually, I think about being eight years old or so and my brother had uh, a date and my mom made him take me and I believe the movie that we saw was Jurassic Park. Watching that movie here in this theater when you're that small you think everything is so huge and um, watching watching that film in particular with with a lot of people in the community in that atmosphere I was in heaven. Star Wars first came out and it was during the winter time, close to Christmas, and I bugged my older brother. My little brother was so captivated about coming to see the Star Wars. And he was like, yes, we'll go hang out. And we lived about 10 blocks. We walked probably a good half mile. We stood in line. He brought me all the way over here to watch Star Wars. The little sparkles would come down and like land on the, on the camera, which was really cool. I'll never forget that look on his face when he saw Yoda. That was awesome. Ever since then, you know, coming to the theater, watching different movies, growing up as a kid, junior high, high school. And now that Tommy and, and, and his wife Debbie have taken it over, seeing it, the new chairs, the new stage, the new screen, setting this up, renovating that, that is good for the community. It's a community here. Winslow's a really, it's a small community and everybody knows everybody. And this is a place where people can gather and have fun. Owners of the theater, they really work hard to give back. They work hard to support their community. With watching Debbie and uh, her, her husband, what they've done, to this theater and the changes that they've made is all in the best interest of the community and the theater itself. Wait, it all ha happened all of a sudden. I mean, we weren't even thinking about it. And uh, we, were, we were at Relic when, when, mm -hmm. Tom, when her cousin, well, kind of cousin, kind of cousin, came in and uh, asked us if we wanted to buy the theater and I'll let you take it over from there. Okay, because that's not how it happened. One day we went to have lunch and the previous owner was there and he says, it was about the 13th of December, he goes, I'm gonna close December 31st. And I go, what? And he goes, yeah, I'm gonna close December 31st. I said, oh, we'll take it over, won't we? And he didn't I said, no. And I said, yeah, we'll take it over, we're gonna do it. <laughs> and we, he said, okay, you know, so we sat to, we did, gave him what he wanted, signed the contract, and he kept saying, I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I want to do this, but we did it. And 
that's kind of our story of how we purchased the theater. Yeah. You got to yeah. understand, I, see, I was retired. I didn't want to go back to work. And now I'm stuck. <laughs> but it's always been a dream of mine to own this theater. Yeah. So we did it and we love it, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Go ahead. Nope. 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 That's okay. We don't need that. Okay. Come back up. Talking no. about ghosts? <laughs> no, I do not think the theater's haunted. Oh, yeah. I just heard a few things earlier. Yes. <laughs> Tommy really knows about what's going on here, and he's the, he's the guy to talk to about that. I have heard a few things. Uh, uh, people running up there in that balcony uh, right after we first opened it up. But anymore, I come in here and I tell them, hey, I oh, come in cool. peace. <laughs> I'm not here to harm you. So. I, I come in here midnight by myself, pitch black. I don't turn the lights on. I come in three, four times, five times a week, turn the heater on or off, and I've never seen or heard anything. I stay here at night making sure everything's clean, counting money. I haven't seen anything. Well, I, think, I haven't heard anything. I think, Shut I think up. the ghost is, is afraid of her. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them. Oh my gosh, uh, Debbie and Tommy have done wonders with this place. They've really put a lot of their heart, soul, time, and effort into uh, cleaning it up, getting us new seats, uh, new food items on the menu, and it's it's something that you can appreciate. They, they really fix up the theater, and they really spend their time here. We have been working on this film festival for a long time, and I'm very happy to um, work with them. I'm glad they were the people that I get to work with. They give people variety. They give people some place to come and go, you know, appreciate the small little town that they live in. I believe that the film festival has all positive output, which is going to be a positive return um, for the community be great for the small businesses here, the business owners here. This is not a corporate town. This is a nice small, you know, community owned and run town. So it'd be really, really nice. We're trying to, you know, give back to this community by just, you know, getting people in here just to watch a movie. Because, you know, we didn't even talk about this, but there are, we won't show everything in our theater. We, we kind of think this is a community theater. This is a family theater. There's movies that we won't show. I remember one night that some lady was counting out her quarters to pay for popcorn and Coke. I said, hey, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and give it to her. And I said, and I, and I, and I also told my employee, I said, hey, look, when you see something like that happen, just, just give it to her. I said, we trust their judgment. Even though they're working a simple job, you know, serving Cokes and popcorn and stuff like that, this is only the beginning. That's the first step in their, their future, you know, and we try to teach them good morals and what they need to, to do as employees for their employers, you know, uh, and not, not be afraid to get in there and get your hands dirty, you know, uh, and hopefully that'll pay dividends in their future. It's, not, not, it's not, not about making money, money and make, you know, becoming millionaires. It's about providing a service for the community. And that, that's our goal. Yeah. You know, that's, that's our biggest goal.